Hey guys, how are you? This is Victor with Provision Remodeling. I'm happy to announce that we started a YouTube channel for the company. Uh, the channel is pretty much going to consist of videos uh, of some of our befores, durings and afters on, on our projects. Um, we want to kind of show you guys and take you guys along this journey of how we do things, why we do things, when do we do things, why do we install certain products the way that we do it. We try to stay up to date with the different types of techniques uh, of installation, different types of technology that's constantly coming out. Um, so yeah, if you guys know a homeowner or if you guys are a homeowner, if you guys just want to follow us along, that would be great. You can click the subscribe button, you can click the like button, and you can also share this video. So this is pretty much our first vlog for the company. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so I'm driving to a siding project that we're doing right now. Uh, pretty much have to replace the front of the house uh, with hardy siding. And then um, the sides of the house, we're doing hardy siding as well, but we're going on top of the current siding, which is a T111 panel siding. Uh, the front of the house has the, or had, uh, the T111 lap siding, so you can't go on top of that. So we pretty much have to go ahead and remove that siding and replace it with the hardy plank siding. Um, and uh, the guys are pretty much done with the front, so I'm just gonna go there right now, check out them and see what's going on. So I'm here at the project right now. Um, pretty much this is it. Uh, this is what we do. Uh, the front, the guys aren't working today, but as you can see on the front, we installed a James Hardy Color Plus siding. Uh, with the trim uh, so the trim is not color plus the trim is actually primed the reason why is because the homeowner wanted a different color uh, than James Hardy had to offer so we're just gonna come in and we're gonna paint the trim after we're done uh, so the whole front of the house I don't know if you can see it or not uh, so that's that was pretty much lap siding so we had to remove that siding we threw it out it was a t111 wood siding and then uh, we put on the hardy siding and then on this side over here, um, as you can see, it's a T111 flat panel siding. So we could just go with the siding right on top of this. The only thing we have to do is um, obviously remove some of the dry rot that we find, uh, replace it with, uh, with plywood, and then we can just go on top uh, with the lap siding on top of this. Uh, before we do that, we use a drainable Weather Smart underlayment. Pretty much helps the water to drain. A little bit better if you just use uh, you know regular Tyvek or if you use not the drainable weather smart underlayment that's also fine as well uh, so this is just pretty much going around the house so um, the guys didn't get started on this yet uh, but they will and uh, this is the back of the house so it looks like they still have quite a bit of work left to do um, so yeah I'm excited to show you guys the finished product Good morning, everyone. So I am um, driving to Woodland right now uh, for the addition that we're doing. Took my boy out to work with me today. Uh, we're gonna have a good time, got some Taco Bell. Um, so right now I'm just picking up some lumber. Uh, the guys needed a little bit more lumber there. So I'm gonna go get that. And then um, got some straps here as well, tied down, don't have a roof rack. Um, yet not sure if I want to get one um, but yeah so pretty much uh, we're just gonna be getting the slumber and then uh, driving up to Woodland and delivering it to the guys and having them finish they should be done with the framing either uh, either tomorrow or Thursday as soon as they're done we're gonna get the roofers in there um, pretty much get the inspection done on it and um, just try to kind of complete this job as, as, as fast as and as efficient as we can so um, uh, stay tuned It's a rainy day today, and uh, we got our lumber strapped it down. Uh, put double straps in the back over here. Pretty much anything that's over eight feet, you have to put in a little flag on the, on the end of it. Um, so we got our lumber. We're going to be heading out to the job site right now. We're going to deliver this for the guys so that they could finish framing. <laughs> Whew, it's wet out there. Hey okay, guys, so I'm here at the project. Uh, this is the addition that we're doing. So we pretty much started doing the siding on this. Um, we're using a hardy panel siding batten board with a one by two cedar strips in the middle um, or it's 16 inch on center. And as we were doing this, um, 
started doing the underlayment, started doing the the Forta flasher on the windows, a tree. I don't know if you could see over there, but a massive tree just fell down on the house and that halted us back a couple months. And so uh, the owners of this property asked us to give a quote on what it would take to pretty much do a second story addition. So this here, we have some before pictures. It was just the first story with just the roof going across. Uh, so what we did is we built out a second story, had to do engineering, um, took a long time with the engineering and planning and, and permitting and finally got the permits. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're doing right now. This is pretty much the progress of it. So we had the foundation guys come in. So these are about three feet deep, uh, six by six posts. Uh, there's three of them and then we pretty much have to build a wall, um, a load bearing wall over here with the foundation. Uh, and then inside, I don't even want to go inside. It's too dark. I don't think you'd, you'd be able to see anything. So the guys are out here. They're going to be finishing up the framing, uh, hopefully pretty soon. Um, so yeah, you can see that over here. We're going to have to pretty much cover that area with underlayment. On top of that. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I just got to the job site. If you guys could see that, there's a hole right here. Pretty much there was an electrical panel that was on the siding. Uh, and when we did it, we worked around it. And then um, as soon as the electricians came in, they took the electrical panel off, they made a bigger hole. And it looks like they had a pipe going up this, this way over here, because you see these two holes right here. So pretty much I just have to replace uh, these two pieces of siding right here. This is a project that we did. Uh, it was about um, uh, more, I think maybe eight months ago. If you guys could see the siding is holding up pretty nice. So what they did is they went with a five inch reveal, uh, smooth lap siding with the hardy trim, hardy trim around the windows. We kept the trim on the bottom of the windows just to kind of keep it that, that old look, um, that traditional look on the house. So yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and set up right now and fix this little hole. So you should always wear glasses. I had a little situation on one of our job sites where I was pretty much ripping out a piece of plywood and a little tiny piece of wood or nail, I, I don't even know what it was, but it went into my eye and it cut my the inside of my eye and I literally, I couldn't see for like two days. My eyes were just closed for two days. I was driving on the way back home. I had to pull over on the side of the highway because it hurt so bad and I couldn't see. I had to call the ambulance. They picked me up, brought me to the hospital after that. I make sure that I always, always have my safety glasses with me. Safety first. <music> All right, so I'm almost done here. Um, pretty much took the siding off, put the new siding on. I had to cut a little bit more um, just because the suppliers didn't have six and a quarter inch siding. They had a eight and a quarter, so I had to cut off two inches to match the six or the five inch reveal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and caulk this right now, clean up and get out of here. Um, got a phone call while I was on my way here uh, for an estimate. So we're gonna head out right now to do an estimate. And then after that, I'm gonna head back to the office and uh, do some office work. So this is the estimate that I'm doing right now. I'm actually already completed 
it. Um, pretty much, there's some rot in some of these areas, um, some dry rot, and then we're just going to be going on top of this T111 with the lap siding because it's pretty much flush. So you have these little gaps right here, but it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as it's flush, we're going to be installing some light blocks. If you could see right there, there's some rot right there. Probably some critters got in there. Some the rot right here, and especially around the windows. So we're just going to be replacing the rot and going on top with the lap siding. So I'm going to be submitting the quote tonight. Hopefully we get this job. So I'm done with that estimate. Um, so I'm going to be sending out the the quote for them tonight so pretty much when it comes to giving out quotes we try to do it right away uh, the reason why is because um, sometimes uh, actually most of the time um, the homeowners they want it right away because the siding is leaking or they want to sell the house uh, so in this case uh, they want to actually buy the house and they have to do the siding uh, for it right away um, so we try not to put that off uh, definitely a huge recommendation to any contractors out there uh, if you are putting in quotes together obviously it depends on what type of quote if you're doing an extensive quote it might take you a bit longer you have to get some prices from some of your subs some of the you know the uh, um, distribute distributors um, but when it comes to something like this we already have all of our pricings in our system we know what siding is going for right now uh, we know what the labor price is going for right now so I can honestly even give a quote on the spot and I usually do but right now uh, my internet wasn't working that good so I'm just gonna go home right now uh, put the quote together send it out to them and hopefully we get it so that you guys can see pretty much the process of this uh, project from start of the sales process to you know how we, how we work and and um, how we work in the middle of the project and then how we finish the project up so yeah wish me luck Thank you everyone for watching the video. If you like what you saw, you like what you heard, you can click the subscribe button, you can click the like button, and then you could also share this video. So we just pretty much want to post at least twice a month uh, just to keep you guys up to date of what's happening, of our current projects. Uh, like I said, of some of our sales calls, some of our afters. So stay tuned. Like I said, subscribe, uh, stay up to date with what's going to be happening in the company. Thanks for watching.